Season three of our Manchester United career mode begins now. When we started this journey, our goal was to make United the best team in the world, and we are getting closer. After season one, Eric Ten Hag left the club by mutual consent, and Graham Potter was brought in to replace him. Now, many questioned the appointment, thinking that Graham Potter was not the right fit, but you could say that he proved those people wrong. Last season, we won the Premier League title for the first time since Sir Alex Ferguson left the club. A huge sign of progress, and we even made it to the Champions League semifinals. But then we ran into a wall, that wall being Manchester City. City, who knocked us out and eventually went on to win the Champions League again. We got so close to our goal, but just weren't good enough. And to make matters even worse, in Season 3, we are losing two of our best players. So we have to recover from Champions League heartbreak, defend our Premier League title, and continue our journey of bringing Manchester United back to the top of European football. Season 3 will be the most crucial season in our story. So of course, drop a like if you are excited. And also, this is my dog, Trixie. I mean, if that face doesn't get you to drop a like, I don't know what will. But as always, let's get back into it. So the biggest headline to start Season Season 3, Bruno Fernandes and Casemiro's transfers away from Old Trafford have been confirmed. United now have to replace two of their most important players to retain their Premier League title. But first comment for the next season, you should increase the rating of Trafford to 83 or 86. Yeah, so Trafford was 81 at the end of the season. Now, he's had a significant upgrade here and uh, some other players have as well. Now, next one, bring back Kensington. Trust me, Kensington is coming back this year 1000%. Now, I'm thinking we're gonna do like last year where all the youth players we find all year long, like uh, like Lucas Santos, all those players will be in that like starting Kensington squad. And I feel like right now we don't have enough players to actually start that yet so that's probably more like a few months down the line now last one since Ronaldo's retired offer him a spot in the coaching staff yeah now last episode we found out that Cristiano Ronaldo actually retired from football so that is uh, not a bad idea there we might hear more about that in episode two the next episode but okay welcome to season three officially we have got three brand new kits a huge transfer budget and some very big decisions to make here as we just found out our captain Bruno Fernandez has signed for Real Madrid so we need a new captain and last season we weren't sure if Rashford was gonna stay at United or not but in in the last week of the season, he announced that he is staying, that this is his club. So our first business of season three is to sign Rashford on a new contract, which negotiations go smoothly on a new three-year deal. And with that, Marcus Rashford becomes the new captain of Manchester United. It's a uh, big pressure, but we think he's ready. Now, as for the rest of the team, there are areas we can improve. And there's one area we already have. If you remember from last season, we signed Teo Hernandez up on a pre-contract and he's arrived to be our new starting left back. One of the best defenders in the world and a huge defensive upgrade. Now, fast forward to the first training session of season three Graham Potter tells the team last year we played a 3-4-3 with the current changes to the team we're gonna switch our formation to start the year so we're gonna go from a 3-4-3 to a 4-2-3-1 Teo Hernandez gives us much more defensive stability at left back so we're confident a back four is what'll work best for this team and you might notice some players have received major upgrades over the summer like we said earlier James Trafford has grown to an 85 Kobe Mainu to an 81 Alex Scott to an 82 and among others Lucas Santos our youth player from Portugal to an 84 rating so the youth that we in invested in is starting to pay off and our squad is looking stronger but we have a huge hole in the heart of our team Bruno Fernandez was our best player last season replacing him is no simple task but we've been scouting a player since season one that we kind of thought to ourselves if Bruno was ever to leave he might be the perfect player to take his place and that player is Florian Wirtz one of the Bundesliga's biggest young talents and as a number 10 he's exactly what we're looking for with his passing and dribbling skills he might be as good or even better for us than Bruno Fernandez but he comes with one of the biggest price tags in world football. After selling Bruno and Casemiro, we are prepared to offer Leverkusen around $170 million. Now, we offer them one forty to start to try and get a deal, but nope, they want the full price tag. So the question is, will $165 million get this done? Uh, okay, apparently not. They don't reject it, but they need time to think. And that is like worst case scenario for us because we're not the only team interested in Verts. Another team could steal him from us. So in a desperate measure, we have asked Sir Alex Ferguson to talk to Florian, one of the club's biggest legends. Can he convince Verts to sign for United. So they have a closed door meeting that lasts about an hour and a half. Afterwards, Sir Alex tells Graham Potter he's one of them. He's going to be special. Verts then tells Leverkusen he wants to sign for Manchester United and they accept our offer of $165 million. Contract negotiations go smoothly and just like that, we have signed maybe the world's best young talent to be our new star midfielder. Florian Verts, welcome to Manchester United. We've got our Bruno Fernandez replacement, but can he live up to the hype? We're going to find out soon enough. Now, there's also been a few departures in this team as well. Harry Maguire has left the club to go be a starter at Leeds and Malassia has left us to sign for Spurs. Just really not enough room for them in this team anymore. Our youth center back we loaned out last year, Jovanovic, he's going to take Maguire's place as our fourth choice center back. And hey, he's got some crazy potential. Now it's time though for the first game of season three, the Community Shield versus Man City. Our biggest rival in this series, European champions versus the English champions. But first, we got to show off our new kits for uh, season three. So this is our new home kit. Notice uh, the new sponsor, Ineos. I mean, it's pretty much a standard United 
United home kit. Nothing too special. Now for this year's Awaken, we've gone for a white design and honestly pretty simple and clean. I still like it though. And now our third kit is a little bit more unique with uh, gold trimming. I like the uh, red design on the front, but not too much color this year. We're sticking to the United palette this season, you could say. So two new faces get their debuts. And although it's a glorified preseason match, it will still set the tone for our entire season. So Rasmus gets us kicked off and hey, Man City knocks out the Champions League last year. I want my revenge. But already Man City are showing they have no interest in slowing down as this looks dangerous, but Kimmich does make a decent tackle there. Now this year, we are trying to implement more pressing in our tactics. So we are testing that today, but Man City are pretty good working through a press. Thankfully, Dalo can stop Holland there though. Now Florian Verts moving forward, looking for his debut goal, but his shot is blocked. Leads to Garnacho putting in a decent cross, but that is going to be cleared. Now Verts and there, Renata is our new signings working well together there, which leads to a chance for Verts, but that shot does go wide. Hey, not a bad attempt from our new star though. And Potter is encouraging him, which then leads to Deong into Hoyland into Verts. Gets a shot away. It bobbles around and what are Man City doing? Florian Verts scores his first goal ever for Man United and that's the first goal of season three. That is a horrible mistake, but Verts will not mind. We are loving that. And okay, it's 1-0 in the 25th minute. Man City here looking for a response. Ball is played into Holland, but Trafford, that is a great save. Those upgrades have made him into a top keeper and we're going to need him again because Holland breaks our press, but Trafford is ready and will collect that. I think we're still going to use to our new uh, pressing tactics because Man City are getting a lot of breakaway chances here and Ball is played to Foden again, but Trafford with another save. We are lucky to be up 1-0 right now and that is half time. Hey, not a bad first half though from our new number eight verts. Now Man City are really testing our defense this game, but so far we're holding up. And hey, even though this is the community shield, it's still the Manchester Derby. So things are getting intense as Garnacho gets taken out. I mean, that's a nasty tackle right there. Nunez gets a yellow and Kimmich defends his teammate, which we like to see. That could easily be a red, but okay. We are making four subs here to rotate and immediately Santos gets a chance, but that is a weak finish from the next Ronaldo. And on the next play, it looks like our new setting verts has actually picked up an injury. Graham Potter and the medical staff call out to him and see if he needs to be taken off. But Verts says, no, I'm good. Leave me in. Hey, he's showing some toughness and so are Man City here, but we will eventually get the ball out. Now Santos into Almada, Tiago Almada crossing Santos header and that is saved. Okay, he looked a little bit like Ronaldo there. We're still trying to instill this pressing tactic into our team, but we're leaving holes and Camavinga with the shot, Trafford, another big save. Again, Camavinga looking to tie it up, but Trafford still saying no. Okay, Florian Verts, who looks like he's actually ran that injury off up to Santos. Ball finds Alex Scott, played into Rashford who goes for the dink and plays it over the bar. Oh, that could have sealed it. Holland now gets his chance. Ramirez steps in, but not enough. And Holland gets so close to scoring. And Pep is encouraged, but Potter is nervous. Now, Lucas Santos finds Alex Scott again in a good spot. And he's going to find Marcus Rashford this time. And he's not going to miss. Rashford scores, and that seals this community shield to Manchester United. Very fitting for our new captain. And that is how this game is going to end 2-0. That's full time. A tone-setting win for the beginning of our season. And a solid debut for Florian Burtz. So we get to lift the community shield. It's not a major trophy, but we'll still find a spot for it in our trophy cabinet. Overall, a solid first game of season three. And the spirit in the dressing room after is high after that win. We feel like we can do something special this season, especially if that man right there stays healthy. Now, after the game, Grand Potter says, Man City are never an easy opponent. So to see our boys win today is a good sign for the season. And of course, Verds takes all the headlines scoring his first goal, but Luca Santos does as well. Maybe a big season ahead for him too. With our young players developing into solid bench players, besides Verts, there aren't too many signings that I think we are desperate to make right now. So I want to see how this team does after a few games. Games, and we can see if we need to improve anywhere after that. And that leads us to match day one of the Premier League season at home versus Sheffield United. Maybe the worst team in the Premier League. Probably the worst team. No, I'd say they are the worst team. So it's a chance for us to start our Premier League title defense off strong as once again, Hoyland gets us kicked off. Now immediately, Verts to De Jong building some chemistry there. And okay, not a bad effort from Frankie De Jong. That was not bad. And Martinez into Teo over to Rashford. And just like that, it is 1-0 to Manchester United. 15 minutes in, that is a great start. Yeah, this might be a rough day for Sheffield. Hopefully a good day for us. Now, Florian Verts looking to score two and two, but a good save from their keeper, who's probably questioning his life right now. Kimmich cross in. That is close to being our second. Okay, we look good today. Now, Kimmich in that new role of CDM and also like deep playmaker. The ball will find Garnacho back out to Dallo, De Jong, and then Rashford who just hit the little back post thing and almost got his second. That was some great buildup though. And Graham Potter wants more of that. But again, our new press is going to lead to some mistakes. Thankfully, Trafford has us covered though. Look at Alex Scott taking in some wisdom from the coach. Now, Verts to Hoyland, Drags out to Kimmich into De Jong, and what a finish from Frankie De Jong. 2 0 to Man United. We are running circles around Sheffield in their third. And okay, that's halftime. 2 0. So far, so good. The fans want more goals, and Grand Potter sees areas where we can score more. So, second half, we start with a plan. Garnacho to Verts, drags it back to De Jong, but he then hits the post. Garnacho to Dallo. That's another save from their keeper. Ball back out to Verts, who goes for a shot, and that bounces right up to Hoyland, who has pretty much an open net. Hoyland scores his first Premier League goal of the year, and it couldn't be easy for him. 3-0 to United and Sheffield are looking 
very, very shaky right now. Florian Verts searching for his first Premier League goal, but that header goes well over the bar. And oh, this is some beautiful passing into Rashford who can't finish that one off. Verts again, low shot, and that's another save. We could have like four or five goals this game. Now, corner sent him for Kimmich, and that's going to find Hoyland who shoots from an awkward angle save, but it comes right back to him, and that is over the line. That's a goal. Another one for Hoyland. Now, that is so unfortunate, but we are just plowing through them. And despite some attacking from them, our defense is set up strong. So we make a sub here, Mason Mount on for De Jong, and we have a chance for one more here, but Verts is denied again his first Premier League goal. Corner sent in for my header, but that is over the net. And okay, we'll have to settle for just four today, as that is a 4 0 win for Sheffield and a great start to our Premier League title defense. With Bruno gone, we need Hoyland to become even more of a star. And post game, he says, it always feels good scoring the first game of the season. The team played wonderful today. Hey, this could be a giant season for him if he's consistent. Now, next game is versus Fulham away, and we are rotating a little bit here as Lucas Santos and also Kobe Mainu get a start. So we arrive at Craven Cottage, and this place is small, but it is not an easy place to win. Saying that though, seven minutes in, Rashford finds Verts, and Verts is hounded, but stays with it, and he does score. That is his first Premier League goal of the season, and it only took eight minutes. How many goals is he going to score this year? We're going to find out as here he is again. Ball is played to De Jong, then out to Rashford, then back to De Jong, back to Verts, goes for the shot, and he has scored again. That's two and under 20 minutes for Florian, and he's already looking like a star. That is a tidy left-footed finish right there, and Potter loves what he is seeing. Although Fulham are not in bad form today, despite going down early. They are fighting, but Trafford has that covered. Wilson, though, is becoming an issue, and the ball is going to find him again, and it does go into the net, though. Fulham score to make it 2-1. We can't let him in that easily. Now, we need a response. It might be from Hoyland here, who drives forward, finds Lucas Santos, whose shot is going to be saved, unfortunately. And okay, that's halftime, 2-1. And hey, Fulham look like they can be back in this. So at halftime, Graham Potter tells the team, don't get too comfortable here. They are a team that knows how to keep fighting. They'll come out swinging in the second half, so be ready. Into the second half, and okay, what a tackle from Maynou. That was a bit rough, but that's what we need to see from our midfielders. Some toughness, so I like that a lot. Now, I don't like how Fulham are getting into the box here. Trafford has that one somehow, but this is getting dicey. Now, again, outside the box, slide tackle completely missed, and okay, what a shot from Simeone. This game is 2-2 all tied up. I mean, that's just a great goal. Like, what else can we do? All we can do is tip our hat to him. We gotta try and take the lead here, as Taylor Hernandez showing some skills, cross in, but it's gonna be cleared. Now, again, Mason Mount, the super sub is on for De Jong. Fulham, a chance to take the lead, but what a save from Trafford. Again, dangerous, but there, Hernandez, that's too easy for him. Okay, 20 minutes left. Mount is in a fine verts. Verts, what about a Santos? But Santos misses the goal entirely. Oh, Luca, we need better than that. That'll be his last involvement as Almada comes on, and also Turibo comes on for Martinez. And as Turibo is coming on, Potter leans in to tell Turibo, if we get a corner, be ready. You have more size, and there will be space for you. There's now only 10 minutes left. Can we find something here? And that's played off a Fulham player, so that will be a corner. That corner eventually played out to Verts. He's going to find Marcus Rashford who controls it. Goes for a shot, but that goes wide. That would have been huge from our captain. Oh, man, is that our last chance? In two at a time, Florian Verts will find Almada. Cross up to Hoyland, but that is cleared. We have one more chance on this corner. Yasuo Kimmich will deliver. So cross into the box and Turibo from a corner. He may have just scored the winner and out of time. 93rd minute, 3-2 to Manchester United. What a moment for Toribo and what a win. The whole team and the fans go absolutely crazy. Bro, he finds space and that is such a good header. A sub of brilliance going with Toribo over Martinez for size from Potter. And that is pretty much the last action of the game. Man, Fulham gave us a fight, but there's a reason we have that gold patch on our kit. That is how champions find a way to win. So after that huge morale boosting win, Toribo is of course the man of the match with the winning goal. He says it was a great delivery from Yasua. I just attacked it and thankfully it fell into the net. So all in all, three wins out of three, a good start to our season. Florian Verts is looking like an absolute star already, but he is the only signing we've made so far, and we have got some money to spend. So I think we have one or two more signings that can truly take this team maybe to another level. So if you want to see more, then of course drop a like, and if you click on screen, I bet you'll like this video too.